beautiful friends, it's Erica here to do the love reading for Gemini for the first half of March 2020. This will be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you if you have a lot of Gemini or a lot of air in your chart, this may resonate. And obviously, you guys, this is general. It will not resonate for everybody. So if it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit, and don't tell us all why it doesn't fit for you. It just means I'm not tuning into your particular scenario, and I definitely recommend going to, to check out the other signs that make up the major placements in your natal chart. They can often resonate more than your sun sign, and we have the Wheel of Fortune jumping out, so you're about to start a very fortunate brand new cycle. Gemini, I'm going to put this back in because um, I'm not done with the uh, little intro here yet, but... Um, so we're going to look at what's going on with you and the other person. And even though I'm recording this for the first part of March 2020, all of my readings on my channel are intended to be timeless as well, which means no matter when you watch it, no matter when I'm recording the video for, if the message resonates, that's Spirit's way of bringing you the message when you're meant to hear it. So you could be going through this now. You could be going through this in the future. You may have already gone through this. So just understand that about my videos. And we do have the full moon in Virgo, and we have Mercury finally stationing direct here in the first half of uh, March. I've done videos on both of those, and I highly recommend watching them so that you get more out of this video, because you'll understand more about what's going on. I will link them either in the description box below or at the end of this video to make that easier for you. So with that, Gemini, let's see what is happening for you and your person this month for this first part of March. Okay, your energy is the Five of Pentacles. Their energy is the Seven of Wands. The dynamic between you guys is the Hierophant. So, and no, guys, I don't read reversals. I've done videos in explaining that if you're new to my channel. Um, Ace of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Lovers, followed by the Five of Wands, followed by the Tower. Okay, so we have your energy, their energy, the dynamic between you two, recent past, the current energy, what's coming in, and feel free to swap it if it if it resonates in the other direction. So we have a situation here where there's been some uncertainty and some guardedness here. Um, maybe there's been a little bit of potentially conflict um, here in the past, but we do have a new start coming in here. There is some movement, some forward movement here between the two of you where there's a new beginning that looks like this could be um, potentially a breakthrough here. All right, guys, I got to tell you. I am giving this caveat now. This is the third video I'm doing in this series, and all of the all of the readings are like this right now. So just bear with me when I say that there are multiple scenarios coming through in these general readings. Typically, in these short astrological videos that I do, that are like 10, 12 minutes long, they're very sh quick and to the point. The only there's only usually it's Aquarius's video that can be a little wonky, just because that's typically Aquarius um, energy for you. But I feel like it's because this is Mercury retrograde in Pisces. There's a bit of fog and a little bit of... So there's a couple scenarios coming through. So um, again, bear with me and know that not everything's going to resonate because I'm getting a couple scenarios. So, which is always so fascinating when I'm doing a general reading because it makes it a little bit... If you don't do this for a living, you don't you don't know what this is like when you're getting multiple scenarios in a general reading because you really want to make it clear. But sometimes spirit brings in more than one scenario because they know spirit knows who's going to be watching this video. So, OK, enough of that. But I will say that there's some of you here. Where you've been in a OK, I'm going to start with one scenario, been in a situation there's uncertainty, there's sadness, there's rejection, there's abandonment. Someone's been very guarded. Maybe there's been an element of surprise and it's been like a spiritual lesson here. You could possibly be in a commitment with this person. And now you're ready to take tangible steps here for a new beginning because you've not been happy. And you could be going towards um, making a decision around love that could be, bring a breakthrough, a, a breakdown, like a tower moment in the relationship 
that this person doesn't necessarily like see coming with this five of not 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 see coming but they could become conflicted about this or combative um, so there's something here where either you could have recently found out about a situation that um, maybe felt like a bit of a surprise but what it's doing is it's bringing about some movement that's moving you towards love and what you want from love now the other scenario i'm feeling is where somebody here has been very guarded and the other person's been trying to like reach them trying to feel like i can't get through to this person i can't get through this person and you find you really want to open up and you could have a breakthrough in the dynamic like there could be something coming in here where it's like suddenly there's forward movement that brings about some change that's necessary because we are getting two fives here so there's an energy of change transition and so again two scenarios the energies are the same but the way they play out in different scenarios is different so that's why you know take it as it fits let's get some more here why is the five of pentacles here we have the moon why is the seven of wands here for the other person the world why is the hierophant here the justice card wow see so this could be a, a there could be a, some sort of a legal commitment here that this is affecting with both the justice and the hierophant right on top of each other and it's not doesn't have to be that but for many of you it could be where it's almost like something came in that was a surprise that's bringing about a potential ending something that um, maybe you have had an intuition about. But some cycle has to end here. Like there's almost like a surprise ending to a cycle that's going to bring balance back into the world here. Let's get some more here. Why is the Ace of Cups here for you, Gemini? There's the King of Cups. Wow. Yeah, you're ready for love. You're ready for real love. Why is the King of Pentacles here for them? The High Priestess. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? <coughs> the Ten of Wands. Yeah, something that's been a burden um, is now moving forward. Someone's either taking responsibility for whatever happened. They're coming clean on what was hidden. Maybe what hasn't been communicated. Because there is movement here. Something moving forward. And, and then why do you have the lovers here, Gemini? The Three of Swords. Why do they have the Five of Wands? The Star. And why is the Tower in between? The Ace of Swords. Wow. See, this is a breakthrough. A breakthrough towards truth and clarity and victory. And it feels like whatever came to the light was necessary. Whatever was brought to the surface was necessary to bring about truth and clarity and victory here. And the five of wands can be the energy of having competing goals. But the star is about healing, hope, wishes. The lovers is here like, I see you, I recognize you. Why is the three of swords here for Gemini? Because this could be getting over sadness and getting over heartbreak. And we have the death card. You're closing out a cycle of sadness in order to be reborn when it comes to love. 
But there is victory in the truth here coming forward. So someone could be definitely coming clean to you about the past, which will bring about a decision for you of do you want to, you, you could be at a crossroads. Um, but it does look like this person knows what they want here with this star card. And they're looking towards the future with the three of wands followed by the three of pentacles. They want to work on this. They want to, they want to, they want to collaborate with you. And it looks like you're the one who has a decision coming forward on the six of pentacles. It's bringing back the balance. You want this reciprocated. Why the ace of swords with the tower and the queen of swords? All right. Sorry, the knight of swords. So there's more truthful communication and forward action. So, um, feels like Gemini. There's someone who's coming clean to you. You are going to have the decision. They're going to be telling you what has been hidden. They're going to explain the whole situation and then you're going to have a choice and it could go either way, depending on your situation. Always trust your own inner guidance, but there's going to be truth and communication. You have the potential for a victory here. Um, this person does look like they want to work on it with you, but it's going to be your choice. It does look like you likely want to work on it with them too, but again, it's different for all of you. But let me get um, just a couple more here to confirm. The energy is gaining momentum. You're close to achieving your goal and balancing spirituality and practicality. Yeah, so you could have been starting to date somebody or starting to talk to somebody and then suddenly you found something out that threw you for a loop. And here now you have the opportunity to make your romantic dreams a reality. Your energy here is meditate and contemplate. Look at new moon in Pisces and full moon in Pisces. That is all the romantic, dreamy, lovey energy. You're ready for a new beginning. And their energy is it's time to release negativity. They're, they're, they're letting go of whatever was negative in the past and bring love into the situation. They want to bring this love in for you. And you guys are also getting in the middle here. You are good enough. See, that's why this... Un Five of Pentacles has been here. Your fears. It's almost like it brought up some fears in you of like, how could this happen? Or why didn't I know this? Or, oh, see, there it goes again. Just when I thought something was good, something bad happens. Opportunity for you to clear this. But it is that there's a good um, opportunity here. This person, it just feels like you both want the same thing, but this will be kind of an adjustment. So with that, guys, um, I'm going to give you one of got a card for final guidance for Gemini for the first part of March in love and your guidance is sanctuary take time out from the world spend time alone meditate or go on retreat you're getting a lot of meditation sanctuary energy this is about just take your time go inward you don't have to rush anything you don't have to decide anything spend some time by yourself and figure out how you feel Gemini, because that's how you're going to get the answers of how best to proceed in this situation. So with that, guys, I hope that was helpful. Until next time, I send you much love. Bye.